Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 8 of the storyline walkthrough. That's what I think I've decided to call it because uh, well, it's not a walkthrough per se anymore, you know. I'm gonna be cutting, as you know already from the previous episodes, all that dungeon cleaning that it takes a lot of time and, you know, videos. It would either be three hour videos or just another 70 episode series. So all that thing, I'm gonna cut it down quite possibly. And I decided to call it a storyline uh, playthrough is what I'm going to show you. We don't have a pyramid stone as you may remember. We have to work it out on the way. I have a, I have an idea of how to do it but let's get on with it. Last time uh, we entered this church we spoke to this guy and we is, we're still in our quest to uh, find Sandalor. Um, so in order to do that, what we need to do first, as you might remember, it's to gain entrance once again into Stormfist Castle. We spoke to Arhu, the cat, and he points us, pointed us in this direction, into this, I think this is as, uh, another town that has the sewer entrance. However, uh, well, first of all, we're not, we are going to make our way over there, but we are also going to be going to Verdistis today. Uh, that city has been mentioned before. Uh, there is the guilds over there. Over here, there is the... I don't even know. Oh, yeah, this is the, the graveyard from which we came from before. But, yeah. Oh no, why? Why do they have to kill the dog? That's not nice. Oh, chicken also restores your mana. That's good to know. Oh, that, uh, that didn't die in one hit. And that one did. That's funny. But in any case, we're gonna go over there to... Oh. Shit. There is another path over there. Uh, that one up there, it's the path to where this is, I, I believe. But in any case, we want to make our way to this town, first of all. But yeah, as I said, we want to go to where this is uh, shortly. There is also a few things we have to do here as well. And we are going to finish uh, a fair amount of quests. Here's the teleporter. Remember to click on it because, as you can see, that's the way to unlock them. I don't have the Alaroth one. <laughs> Still, have not done it. And also, I would like to apologize for taking so long for um, uh, coming back to the series. I have fallen sick, sadly. If you might notice in my voice. I do apologize. We have this chest here. Uh... As far as I'm concerned, you can just put your stuff in there. Like, no no one's gonna take it. But yeah, this is a market town. There's this entrance to the sewer. Over here, there is a store, I believe. Ars Magicana. Magicana. Me, 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 la, la, la. Well, this is a, like a bard or a poet, I think. What are you doing, sir? I'm preparing myself for my performance, dullard. Why everyone keeps calling me that? Where are you performing? I'm reciting poems, the beautiful poems of Alric Fassbauer. Uh, I've not heard of him. Could you give me an example? Oh, I don't know. Ten gold pieces? Well, well okay, let's see. Excellent. And I say to you that the winds are spoken words. Whispering whispers, roaring, shouting, a voice from the outer worlds. No matter what race, no matter what species, the winds speak to us. Ah, uh, well. That was nice. Bravo, bravo, encore. 
a most excellent performance. Right. And it is hard to listen to them, but they are there. The voices of the wind. They guide us through our lives, down the ages. The echoing of the wind, crying, whispering, screaming, weeping, breathing. When this guy comes out, quickly go in. You can manage to steal some potions before he realizes. A little, a little advice for you. Well, here you can buy a lot of potions. That's the thing. Maybe I should. The thing is, they are really expensive, aren't they? This is a, a statuette. This two, you can transform on a cat or in a spider. That's what they do. These things later on will be, uh, if you have any, I have like a three or so, you can put in your armor, as I recently discovered. Uh, yeah. Just a little things to teach you. I don't get to teach you much. I am not a good teacher. Yeah, just want potions. Uh, but yeah, that's it. You can just buy potions here and that's... That's Blake's there if you General need. Store. General store. I think this guy also sells potions. Ah, oh, he sells weapons. That's nice. Armor. Uh, it, it weights a lot, and I don't have the, that kind of money. Oh, this is the holy sword. Emerald, ruby... Hmm. Yeah, I don't make the cut, do I? No, that's too much money. But in any case, you have this town here. It's not too bad. You can speak to all of the all of the people here, all the merchants. Some of them have quests. Uh, you know, side quests. Apothecary is for potions as well, I think, or medicines. Uh, but yeah, we got the teleporter, so that's good. There is the sewer entrance in the middle. What we're going to do is we're going to go take that path up. And we're going to go to Verdistis. We're going to make our way to Verdistis. Who are you? My name is Paul. I am the undertaker from the graveyard next door. Uh, so you're an undertaker. It is quite an interesting job, contrary to what people think. The royal family pays me well for taking care of the graves uh, of their family. Okay. Doesn't have anything. Fair enough. So yeah, the idea I had for resting and whatnot, it's uh, picking up hay. Bloody hell. Picking up hay, as I said. Uh, I think with two of those things... Uh, you can make a, a resting place. So soon, today, I'm gonna be picking a few of them. Oh, it's... It's a paladin. For glory and justice. Ha! This is a noble fight, my friend. This trust won't be bothering anyone anymore. Yeah, this is not the same guy we know. Sir Markham. We fight well together, my friend. Indeed, it was an honor for me. Where are you heading from here, if I might be so inquisitive? We are going to bear this, this. That is right. Well then, be careful on your way. Verdistis is full of dangers, as you will soon see. I wish you good luck, and may the gods favor go, uh, favor go with you. Mm, if you have the time, maybe you could investigate something for me. Ah, okay, yeah, this is a, a side mission towards the south, I believe. 
there is a cave nearby, a bit to the southeast. Uh, some folk call it the Dark Cave. I thought I heard some strange noises coming from there. I wanted to investigate it myself, but unfortunately, the damn trolls around here have kept me too busy. Well, you can do that if you want to. We won't be doing that. We're gonna be heading to Vetis this. I'm fully healed, but I think he can heal you. Uh, he doesn't give you mana though. In any case, let's just keep going up. Just follow this path. And then you're gonna encounter, well, this thing. Do you want to go to Vertis this? Yes. We have the teleporter, so it's all right. Zzz, set, 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 set. What? Who? Ah, a new visitor. Welcome to the town of Vedisti, stranger. If you seek a room, then go and see uh, Afro Sam and or Iliana at the Ducal Inn. Uh, the Ducal Inn, we've heard about it before. That is where one of the guilds uh, reside or something like that. It's on your right. I know for a fact that they cook an excellent stew. If you are in need of work, then cast your eyes over this billboard. Uh, I've noticed it's behind me. I hope you enjoy your stay. Now, if you will excuse me, I'll get back to my nap. Ah, uh, fair enough. Right. So, we just arrived here. We got two points. Sir Dante's Mansion. It's that... Um, I do not remember Sir Dante's Mansion, but if it's pinpointed, it might be related to a mission. I think it has to do with the scrolls, if I'm not mistaken. So you see these letters, after some, all these things, love letters, side quests that we picked up before. Um, it's to be done over here. You look lost, stranger. Uh, little wonder. Verdictis is a very big town. I grew up here. But there is uh, there are places even I have never visited. Mm, very well. Um, that would be in the Ducal Inn. Uh, run by a nice couple, Ileana and Afrasam. The stew they sell is wonderfully tasty. Okay, so we've been told. Uh, you will find it near the southern city gates. Let me mark it on your map for you. Okay, so this guy, uh, Marek, it's kind of important uh, as you enter the city because he's gonna pinpoint uh, a few places. Uh, where might I buy myself some supplies and equipment? You should make your way to the general store. Uh, left, uh, left time, the storekeeper is an honest man. He has goods from all over Rivalon. The store is right next to the Ducal Inn. Let me mark it on your map, you see? Uh, very well. How many guilds are there in Verdistis? Several houses belong to famous guilds or families. I will mark most important uh, the merchant's skill on your map. Rumor has it that the thief's skill is based at the Ducal Inn. Oh, so the Ducal Inn's got the thief's guild. Very well. Uh, can you tell me about any other sites I might visit while I'm here? Verdis this is well known for its beautiful mansions that were built by the noble families. The most impressive mansions in town belong to Sir Patrick and Sir Dante. Uh, they are bitter enemies though. I'm looking for the town guard's quarter. Ah, they are located here. The commander of the guards is... Uh, Kratos? Jesus. Very well done. Greetings, visitor. This is another guy. A guard. I will keep your eyes open and watch your back while you're here. Is it so unsafe to walk the streets of Verdis these, these days? Remain calm. There is no need for panic. The town guard have everything under control. Fair enough. Uh, my game is funny. Right, guys. So... A little heads up, uh, my game wasn't even funny, so I had to re-enter the town again from, a sa from the save file, from the quick save. So, when you enter, there, uh, here's the billboard. For some reason, you want to go from the left. 
and go up and you want the guard to speak to you first which it didn't happen right this time the guard didn't even show up uh, yeah but you know I just got kind of funny in the game it wouldn't let me any do anything right so we're gonna start cleaning uh, clearing up here we have look at that Sardantos mansion the merchant guild Verdistis city watch uh, Sir Patrick's mansion and that's the way back general store So it would have been a good idea to right away get the hay in order in order to to make a resting thing. Pierce's wine barrel. So we're gonna make a few quests before going into the um, into the main story thing. However, uh, I'm gonna show you a little something because why not? I'm just gonna replenish myself. Remember to do the control S for save file, quick save. So this is a wine uh, shop sort of thing. Good day to you, friend. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Pierce and I am a humble trader here in Verdistis. As you can see, I specialize in food and exclusive wine. Mm, well, he's just gonna tell you about his wine. I'm gonna try to sell you some. What's very interesting here is that you might remember George, one of our first friends back in the back in Aleroth. Um, yeah, the one that asked us to give him through the night. When we wanna have a look around, then I'll wait. Can I unlock this? The door appears locked. I can't. Very well. So that's interesting uh, to remember because we are gonna see something about it uh, right now. It's pretty funny. Magical tragedies. Ah. But yeah, as you can see right here, there is a hatch. We always want to inspect the hatches. nothing around yeah and then you're gonna make it here that looks like a door that's because it is some sort of passage we're just gonna clean this uh, up it's kind of weird sometimes gets weirded out right oh what's this Grah! Why do you dare to disturb me, Vermin? Uh, do you know who I am? I do know you. You were George's drug dealer. Yeah, the hat guy. That is him. George, that pitiful human addicted to my drugs. I decided to kill him for reasons of my own. What were the reasons you killed poor George? He was of no use to me anymore. He could not pay and threatened to tell his colleagues about my true nature. The fool, uh, the fool one does not threaten a vampire and punish. What are you doing in this cellar? The owner of this house is oblivious uh, that I use his, uh, his cellar to rest during the day. It is an easy matter to twist his attention away when he comes too close. All it takes is a stare and a command. Then uh, when night comes, I leave this place and hunt. Are you the serial killer that every uh, everyone is fear of? I do not like the term serial killer. Such uh, such vermin exists only among your mortal kind. Killing without purpose. I kill to survive. Uh, but now that you know my form and what I am, you shall not live alive. And I was thinking that you cannot be left alive to continue feeding on the innocent. Well, this guy is kind of tough and he steals your life, of course. That's why I did all that saving. 
Well, we are both of a mind to destroy each other, but I shall not fail. And now embrace the ultimate darkness that only a vampire can bring. Your foul existence ends here. I will feed on your blood. Come here, young one. You look quite tasty. Shit. As you can see, it's pretty strong. You can always rely on the pause button, though. Holy shit, I got only one? It's fucking drinking my blood. Jesus. Do I have anything like meat? My energies are depleted. Shit. Let me regain my strength. I must rest. I don't have any mana. Another spell. Well, there it goes. I will feed on your blood. Come here, young one. You look quite. Let's try fire. Ah, well. Nice. That it's well more efficient. Have you got anything here? Did you see how he melted with that fire? I was using the lightning. In any case, George Murder. Um, so exposing George Murder, it's been solved. Inform Ardenius about George Murder. So it seems that we we, uh, we are going to be paying a visit to good old Mardenius. Uh It seems like there is nothing else around. Let's go on the level up thing. I'm just going to keep pumping that magic no reason to change class now oh and i can level up the meteor strike even more i have two points how wonderful um uh, there is something that i should do and if you are uh following this i would advise and it's the big pocket super I probably should have put two points there, but okay, whatever. You uh, you do want to do that? In case, let's go to see this guy. Let's see what he thinks about this. Ah, my good friend returns. Welcome back to my store. Uh, it appears you had a vampire living in your cellar, sir. He was the mass murderer everybody was so afraid of. A vampire? I have been sharing my cellar with a foul creature of the night. Oh my, I feel rather faint. I I am so relieved that the matter is solved. I might very well have been the creature's next victim. Next victim. Is that it? Well, fair enough. So, I want to show you a few things before going to uh, Alaroth again. So, this is what we got discovered so far. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna keep this here so you can see ma more or less. Usually I play without that map. So this is uh, the merchant skill. This is the the rich guy. There is two rich guys. This one and this one. And this is the merchant skill. So we're gonna go to the center of the city. Just so I can show you where the, um, the teleporter is. You wanna go... Once you are so, more or less like in the center, you want to go. So, um... Oh, who's this? <clears throat> Hello, friend. Oh, this is the guy we healed back in the very beginning. It's a great pleasure to meet you again. Remember me? You saved me from this illness back there in Aleroth. Uh, Hello, Verlat. Of course I remember. I hope everything's fine. Yes, fine. Thanks to you. I'm really happy meeting you again, so now I can thank you for my healing. Please take this ring as a small reward. It's been property of my family for ages, and now I want you to have it. I hope it serves you well. Uh, thank you, Verlad. I'm quite sure it will. Maybe we'll meet again someday. Uh, how do you know? That's the guy we healed. We managed to heal both of them. I, I did show you how to do that. But in any case, what you want to do... Uh, it's not go there. <laughs> well, that is the guard stuff. 
you want to go more or less uh what it looks central i think around here yeah and then down here there is the teleporter so now we got that one fair enough My poor cause, my hope he's doing fine. So this is again a bunch of uh, side quests, uh, basically finding the cat. Uh, it's gonna tell you where the cat was. <laughs> Curiosity kills the cat. <laughs> uh, fell into the cellar of the merchant's guild. Uh. Just gonna tell you the merchants uh, are not very nice. You can do that if you want. I don't know if we will, but you know, maybe we will. In any case, I show you the teleporter, and I'm gonna show you more about this city. But I'm gonna go real quick to Aleroth and finish this thing with the with George Murder. Gotta speak to. Gotta tell Mardenius. So I'm just gonna go to the farmlands and I'll see you in Aleroth. Oh yeah, before I do the cut, this is what I'm talking about, the straw. What you want to do is to uh, pick up a few of these that look like that, they wrapped up. Two of those make uh, for, a, um, for a resting thing. Like if I put one here, and I click it, it goes like that. Then I put a, uh, I grab another one. I cannot grab it. Fuck. Uh, right. You see, it goes like that, but you put this together. Oh shit. You put it together and boom, it's a hay and you can sleep. So take a couple. Uh, I'm gonna take a few more uh, when I'm back. But yeah, that uh, you got a lot of a lot of those here. You see. But yeah, I'm gonna see you when I'm back in Leroth, and once I'm there, I'm gonna make sure to activate the teleporter as well. Right. So we're here in Aleroth. I just enter without even. Welcome to Aleroth. Remembering. The teleporter is right outside of it. In matter of fact, I believe it's gonna show on my map because I did see it. Yeah, there it is. I only didn't touch it. That's the thing. Damn, the orcs now die really quick. Just touch the teleporter. Now we got that as well. The other ones are like dwarven and other races. For those, we need the scrolls. I don't know if you picked that up from previous episodes, but we need like the lizards, um, scrolls of teleportation in order to access those places. Uh, the elves and the dwarves. We met a guy who had the dwarf uh, teleporter scroll, but he could not give it to us. And I believe the archer skill has the the elven teleporter scroll so Mardenius welcome back my friend feel free to ask me whatever question comes to your mind I've seen much in my life and I can tell you a lot of things I found out that the man who murdered George was uh, his drug dealer his name is Tutaman what a name but why did this Tutaman murder George if George could not pay anymore surely killing him would not pay back his debts uh, that is true, but Tutemon was also a vampire, and George knew this. George threatened to expose him. That was nice. That's a lot of XP. I I, I just uploaded one level after actually up uh, leveling up already. A sad story. This is indeed. Well, at least uh, we know the truth now, and I promise you to give. Uh, I promise you to give a reward, didn't I? Please accept this book. It'll learn you more about the arts of healing. Uh, well, the problems with the source we already know. Just do me some healing. I don't need it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We have sold this one completely. That is nice. Let's have a look. 
So we keep looking for Sandal. Do not forget that. <laughs> I, I keep diverting. The holy weapon, I will have to look it up. Because um, I don't really know how it works. Retrieve my teleporter stone. We got no idea, as it says here. Uh, I must recover them, but I do not have a clue as to where I should begin my search. So we cannot do anything about that. And then everything else really uh, comes down to finding Sandalor. It's going to unravel itself. But in any case, uh, to the matters ahead for today, we have a lot of things to do. I don't know how long the video will be. I will try to edit it. But I would advise to just bring these things. Uh, two or three, more or less. I would say you'll be fine. Uh, it's more than anything, so you don't have to do a lot of runbacks. Uh, you know, like at least you can you can maybe do. A... I was trying to pick that up. You cannot pick that up. At least that way you don't you won't need to do runbacks to the city or the teleporters and and whatnot. Uh, if I could I have put... too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Oh, I got three of those. Okay. Uh, uh, I got two. I got one of these. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Why do you need that? You might be asking. Well, well that is just to replenish yourself so we can rest as we go through. You probably won't see much of that, actually. But yeah, let us go back to Vertistis and just a few more quests that I would like to make for today before uh, going back right away to the whole storyline thing. Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We do not want to come here first. We want to go to farmlands where we were, because I did lay, I did um, leave um, a possible quest. Mm. So this is the big house. Right. Guys, I apologize. I mistook the place. So I am here. Right here. This is teleported to the farmlands. And it's all the way down here to... Uh, this is Rivertown. Uh, well, all of it is Rivertown. But you know what I mean. It's right here. Here you find this woman, Maria. So we want to talk to her to make some uh, background sense into all these things. Uh, the reason why I'm following this quest is because this is re directly related to um, the Merchant's Guild. Uh, I feel like I feel like without spoiling anything else, I had to tell you this because it's kind of important. Or at least it makes things easier. Very well. Welcome, stranger, to the uh, most dirty and stinking town in all Rivertown. <laughs> My name is Maria. Forgive, uh, forgive my bitterness, friend. I am not used to this life of destitution. Did you grow up in another area? I come from a family that was once wealthy. Sadly, thanks to the merchant's guild, my family lost both its reputation and wealth. Uh, how did your family make an enemy of the merchant's guild? My father once did business with the elves. Uh, then one day, my father received a notice from the guild demanding a third of all the profits. And I assume your father refused? He most certainly did. They had no right. He denounced the secretary who sent the notice calling him a greedy fool. The next day, soldiers arrived and arrested my father for breaking merchants' regulations law. That is a terrible story, indeed. That foul secretary took uh, all of our possessions and I found myself in this pitiful situation. You see me, uh, this pitiful situation you see me in now. 
I grow weaker by the day, but my thirst for revenge against that greedy bastard grows stronger. Good, exa uh, good exacting your revenge on the secretary changed your current situation. I imagine it would. Uh, I know a lot of uh, intimate and dirty details about many of the merchants guild. Uh, things that people in important positions in the guild would rather keep buried. Uh, just what information do you have? Well, that damn secretary is uh, altering the financial records of the merchants guild. He is making a lot of money that way. Maybe I could make some investigations and expose him. If you could expose his uh, dubious behavior, I would be able to uh, rebuild my life. The guild master would be very grateful uh, to me if he, if it were proof that his good friend was stealing money from the guild. Uh, I will take care of that foul secretary. His days are numbered. So this is very important, as I said. Or it makes things go a lot faster. Your help is most appreciated. I suggest you visit our friend in the Merchant's Guild in Verdistis. And also in his home here. Let me show it on your map. Right. So we got that quest now. Let's see. Mm, that is Dark Cave. And... Yeah, that's here. We don't want that. We want to go to bed this this now. And we're gonna start doing uh, all of that regarding the guilds. Oh, there is a lot of works here. What the hell? They are not even a threat anymore. That's funny. Holy cow. Wait, where am I? Ah. Right, to where this this it is. And here I believe this is the place. Verdistis Merchants Guild House. It is indeed. Also, she marked his house. Malcolm's house. I imagine that that is. Wealthy citizen. Well, we got the wealthy elite, the one person around here. Ooh. We got a key. Oh, that's Malcolm. Welcome to the Merchant's Guild. The most influential guild in all of Verdistis. I have not seen you before in our house, so may I ask, what can I do for you? Right, so we have to see how we do this. I am not entirely sure, but hopefully it goes uh, the right way. What you want to do is try and become a member. Uh, how do I become a member of your guild? You must have a document that proves that you have a business of medium size in the Dukedom. If you are not affiliated with a, a company, then you can always pay a sum of 10,000 gold coins to enter. Uh, 10,000 gold coins. That is rather a large amount. Think of the many advantages you can get as a guild member. With the proper training, all ships will give you uh, better prices just the fee is large but i would be willing to lower the fee if you could do me a small favor ah tell me about this favor there is a woman called maria living in the poor quarter of rivertown she has a, a slandered reputation of the kill for quite some time i have recently received information that this maria is planning to assassinate a member of the guild <coughs> Very well. Uh, so he wants me to kill Maria, that's the thing. What do you wish me to do with Maria? We cannot take any direct steps against Maria ourselves. If you can, take care of her, then your favor with us will rise considerably. I will even waive the entrance fee to join our guild. Alright, so we're gonna tell him yes. 
Uh, but obviously we we'll, we're not gonna do it. Uh, consider it done. Um, thank you. So that's it. We're not gonna do it, obviously. We have a different type of quest. Uh, just checking around. Nothing really of concern. I'm reading. Not able to use that. I'm not able to use that. Cooking recipes and whatnot. So, well, you can do you can do whatever. You can just scale her and try and get the uh, into the guild. I never done it, but Maria did point us in the direction of Malcolm's house, and that we can find a few things over there that it would incriminate him of the things that he'd been doing. Because we know, wait, what are you? Oh yeah, okay. So this one, although it doesn't look like it's a kid. <laughs> and pay attention to this one. You don't want to do wrong. Please, stranger, can you spare some gold? My mother is ill, my father has no work, and I am so hungry. The first time this happened to me, I went uh, and gave, it, gave her 10 gold pieces. That's the most amount you can do. Do not do that. Do not give her 10 gold coins because this is not a, a poor child, this is a, a, a thief. And it's with a, lot, a bunch of kids. That if you give her 10 gold coins, she's gonna scream, This idiot fell for it, lads. And a bunch of fucking kids are gonna start following you. Uh, I think I, if you give her one, you say, Take this gold piece and buy yourself an apple. She just goes like, uh, Fuck you then. But yeah, don't give her 10 gold coins. I mean, you can just tell her to fuck off, but anyway. Do you know how much an apple costs these days? Anyway, that's it. <coughs> I wonder how many co coughs uh, I will have to edit off this video. But I truly didn't want to wait anymore to record. I've just been sick for a while now. However, uh, okay, it's not that one. Um, right, so I do know how to get to the house. You just follow the path after the merchant's guild. When you find this place, this wall, just go in here through through all these trees and whatnot then you make it here and you go up and this is the house as you can see right so it's a few things inside mm, nothing else of interest so this is why it's so important let me explain it to you that you speak to Maria first and not not to the merchant because when you speak to Maria first and she gives you the mission to incriminate him or well not incriminate him but expose him this book will show up if you do not speak to her before the book will not be here and your mission will only be to kill Maria but yeah get the book this book appears to contain the uh, financial records of the merchant's guild. Someone has written down additional text besides some numbers explaining how he used several tricks to steal money from the merchant's guild. Uh, pff, you want to take it. See, it updates. Maria was right. This one changes color, I think. And we are going to keep going with this mission. We're going to go to the Merchant's Guild. And just see how this plays out. That's what we're going to do. The music is fire, by the way. But yeah, if you see a lot of cuts in this video, it's because probably I, I couldn't hold it anymore and I started coughing. 
uh, do not roam the, the the streets at night, stranger. Stay in the comforts of your tavern, and you should not come to her. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm on the way behind. <laughs> Well, at least that way I clear the fog. But yeah, I have a lot of things that I want to do today. So if it's too long, I'm just going to divide it into videos. But we'll see. Uh, we do not want to speak to Malcolm. Just so you know. You want to go uh, all the way up here. Wealthy citizen. What a fucking cunt. Right, you want to find this place. Uh, oh, there's a key there. Nice. Trevor, this is the guy you want to find. Only guild members are permitted to enter my studies. Please leave at once. Mm, right, here. I have discovered that Malcolm is stealing money from the Merchants Guild by fooling around with the financial records. Here's the evidence. What? Let me see that. But this could mean that one of my closest friends has been stealing a line for all these years. I will immediately throw him out of this guild. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Right, and we need to do this as well. To restore her reputation. Actually, a woman named Maria. Uh, is it Maria or is it Mariah in English? I don't know. Um... Uh, she brought Malcolm's treachery to my attention. She says Malcolm wrongfully accused her family and she lost everything because of this. She told me of this treachery and asked me to expose him. Maria, then it seems we wrongfully accused her and the family then. Uh, Malcolm fooled us all uh, with his treacherous lies. If you see her again, please tell her that she is welcome again in Verdistis. And we are deeply sorry for the suffering we have caused. Right. What about becoming a member of the Merchants Guild now? Uh, I am relieved Malcolm has been exposed and arrested. He could have brought great uh, disrepute upon the Merchants Guild. Uh, for your services, I hereby grant you lifetime membership to our guild and offer our thanks. Here's your personal key for the archive of the Merchants Guild. You might find the information in there useful. Uh, is there anything I can do now that I'm a member? There is a store in the merchant's quarter that sells nothing but inferior goods. We suspect that the owner is engaging in under uh, the counter dealings with stolen goods. And he does not have a license from our guild. Uh, so this is a mission as a member of the guild. Very well. All right. So there is that. That's why I told you to go speak to her again. And we got this mission for from the merchant. We didn't kill Maria, of course. And. Well, I think you have to speak to her again so she comes here. I'm not entirely sure. We'll do so and see what uh, what happens. Hello again. Uh, if I had to spend one more night in that cold uh, hovel of mine, I will sure, uh, surely catch my death. I have exposed Malcolm. The guildmaster has told me that you are welcome again in Verdistis. They are deeply sorry for what they did uh, to you and your family. Praise the gods, my miserable life uh, on the street is over. If only my parents could see that their accuser has uh, been brought to justice. I can now begin making a new life for myself. Thank you, friend. Well, yeah. She leaves. And after that, we can uh, you can basically join the guild. We will we oh my god I can't speak. We will be joining uh, another guild as well shortly. 
Um, sh uh, shortly, that's what I meant to say. So let's go back to this. This. Uh, let me do the rest. Why not? Right. So once you've done all of that, she's gonna be here and she is going to speak on your favor or something. Ah, it feels so nice to spend the night uh, in a warm bath uh, and a roof over my over your head. The guildmaster has even invited me to dinner. Oh yeah, here. I wanted to rent or even buy a house in Verdistis, but I was told that I need someone local to speak favorably on my behalf. Right. And she will do so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right. Uh, well, so that being done, you can buy land, well, a house, but it's still pretty expensive, I think. Uh, well, a thousand gold a month renting, uh, and to buy it, 30k. So, fuck that in the meanwhile. I have like barely 5,000. But in any case, that quest being done, what I wanted to sh uh, to keep going now, it's we're gonna head towards the Ducal Inn. That's where the Thief Skill is uh, based, as we've been told. So we're just gonna go have a look. Yes. That guard took his time. Where are we? Oh, it's right here. Just gotta do the... The run around. Oh my god. It's a big place. What the hell? Oh. I imagine it was the vampire's, uh, vampire's victim. It's a dead man over there. Uh, there is no, no sign, but I imagine this day, this is it. The Ducal Inn. Right. That looks pretty nice. Welcome to the Ducal Inn, friend. My name is Rob, and I am the owner of this fine tavern that you find yourself in. What can I do for you this day? Uh, will you have any work for me? Huh. Uh, if you can prove yourself trustworthy, maybe, uh, have you ever thought of joining a guild? What kind of guild should I join? Have you ever heard of the Thieves Guild? Uh... I need to know how to get into Stormfist Castle without being seen. I have heard rumors that the Thieves Guild can get in anywhere. So can you help me? That's why you want to, to join the guild. So we can find Sandalor. If this could be the case, such information can only be given to members of guild, of our guild. I am sorry. Uh, how do I become a member of the Thieves Guild? Ah, uh, okay, sorry. Firstly, we do not let any novice join us until his skills have been tested of their limits. If you fail, then we lighten your pockets drastically if you wish to join. Uh, very well, tell me what I must do to join. Look over yonder. Do you see the drunken guest in the corner of the, of the tavern? His name is Sweeney. Uh, in one of his pockets is a necklace. Let us see if you can lift the necklace without being caught and bringing it to me. Very well, so we got that mission on a safe right away. And that's the reason why I told you to do that. 
So let's have a look, see if we find. Uh, okay, so this is Sweeney. Let's see if we have any. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Any luck? So yeah, just one point on pickpocketing. It's enough. I wasn't sure, but it is. Uh, did you lift that necklace? Do not tell me the task is beyond your abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, the drunken mark is not much of a challenge. <laughs> uh, that was not very difficult. Shall we proceed to the next test? Very well. Yeah. Just some few tests so we can join and we can hopefully make our way into Stormfist Castle once again. We can't let just anyone in. We must thoroughly test prospective members to ensure that they have natural talents to become a thief of exceptional skill. Tell me then. Come here behind the counter and use uh, this hatch on my feet to enter the cellar. Once below, head to the door on the north wall. Uh, the lock on that door is rather challenging. Oof. I think I have like two points only on lock picking. <clears throat> Take these lockpicks and see if you can get inside. As proof of success, you are to bring me a bottle of ale that I have stored within the room. <clears throat> Very well. Another uh, little task. Just when the music was kicking in. Okay, so this hatch, I imagine. Let us use uh, the... Level 1 lockpick I have. I got no clue if that's going to be any good. Gold. Nothing much. What the hell? Who are you? Greetings, you look like you have plenty of spare time on your hands. <laughs> Not really, my friend. I may have a task for you. Uh, rather really tricky. There is a chance that you could be thrown in prison. <laughs> mm. Well, we're not gonna mingle much more with that right so this is the door okay level one lock pick it's good enough <coughs> sorry coffin there is the bottle is there anything else around Right. Oh, what else is here? Some gold. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Don't worry, sweetie. The assassin. Oh, that's Alpha Sam. What about that door? Did you open it with the lockpicks? I was successful. Here's the bottle of ale. Do we share a glass of celebration now? That's a lot of XP. Excellent. You have the makings of a fine thief, my friend. You have passed all our tests, and I welcome you to the Thief's Guild. Excellent. So what do I get now, uh, now that I'm a member? Yes, the reward is certainly worth it. Uh, what is it you want to learn some extra tricks about? This one. I need to know how to get into Stormfist Castle without being seen. Can you help me? Of course I can. In fact, I know of several entrances, all using Rivertown sewers. The sewers uh, that I point out to you uh, back then. Here, I will show them to, uh, on your map. The safest way to get to many of them is using the entrance in the cellar of one of our houses. 
uh, go to the lane in Rivertown Sport Quarters and use this key to unlock the hatch located in the cellar of this of his house. Uh, well, you can train here with him, but that's about it. Um, this is the way in which we are going to be able to find Sandalor. You see. Uh, has shown me the entrance to the Stormfish Castle cellar. I must go through the sewers under Riverton to the location he marked on my map. That is uh, close to the farmlands, if I'm not mistaken. I did show you of a house. Um, well, let's go to Riverton. I show you of a house when I was looking for Mar Maria. Mariah. Uh, let's just go use the teleporter, right? I was gonna go uh, out of the city. And since we are gonna go uh, under the, um, underground, yeah, like towards the sewers and whatnot, is as you know, just a bunch of dungeons with a lot of. Uh, Skeleton killing. Well, it's not skeletons, you know, but mob killing. And that it's a, a lot of thing. That, that is a lot of time. That is a lot of gameplay that I will be cutting. I will be showing you the important stuff, though. And that is the reason that I need so much of this. Matter of fact, if I could just drop something and bring just another one. Uh, just in case. I have too much to carry. I must drop some have a chop. First. Have a chop board. Don't need that. Uh, this stuff's proven useless. Could have sold it, but I didn't. Let's have a look here. Teleporter of the human race. This is the the whole map. Teleporter of the mages. Right. So let me check. Uh, yeah, there is something we need to do before that, that I didn't do. Checking my own notes. We are gonna go to the Blue Boar Inn. <laughs> that is the the tavern, one of the first taverns we went. Uh, and there. We are going to see uh, a couple of old friends, a few old friends of ours. Here. Oh. Alright guys, this is El Gammon. Remember to not uh, buy the magic carpet. Do not buy the magic carpet. This is Joram. This is uh, the one that rescue rescue me in his house at the very beginning. If it weren't for the plague, I might actually enjoy my stay here. I was raising an inn, you see. I cut my milk teeth on an empty tankard, as they uh, they say. My father's place was much like this one, only it had a better name, the Blue Bar Inn. I ask you, how is a man full of drinks supposed to say that? Well, you could have talked to, uh, with them about George murder, but we already done that. <clears throat> so here's Lanelor. Oh, and there's a cow in here. What the hell? <coughs> Good day to you, adventurer. What can I do for you? Well, he doesn't say much. And so we can find the um, the dwarf that was in Aleroth. We can find him as well. He also doesn't really say much. <clears throat> uh, I do not even remember where he is. Let's just look for him. Um, here. 
by doing a uh, bouncing breast. I didn't think you had it in you uh, to find a cure for all my genius broken brain. Well done, human. Probably think uh, you're something special now, don't you? Mm. Uh, well, he tells you about the, the, the plague and everything. They're working now with the doctor in the barracks. Mm, they just have potions. And over here, as you saw, it's a uh, Gomo. Oh, that's what I call him. I don't know how you pronounce that. Gomo. Um, so you have found the cause and solution to Mardinius' queer behavior. You display great bravery and ingenuity. Oh, human. Well done, indeed. Uh, right. This is why it's important to come here. Gomo. You're a lizard. Do you know anything about the activation scroll your people used to work the teleporters? I know not. <laughs> Very well, human. You say Martinius and you have proven your honesty. Yes, I admit it. I have a teleporter scroll containing the activation spell of the lizards. You have the scroll. Could you give it to me, please? Yes, I have it. But why should I give it to you, human? And you want to tell him this? The wizard Sandalor told me that the teleporter system could help me to escape uh, the evil forces that pursue me. Sandalor has already given me the mage scroll uh, for the teleporters. Evil forces. And Sandalor gave you the scroll of the mages, did he? He must trust you very much, human. And I trust the good Sandalor. Yes, yes, I will give you the scroll, uh, human. I do not think I am mistaken about uh, your character. Many thanks. So it is Gomo. He gave us another teleporter. That means we can, um, we are to find some other spots. We can actually use them. <clears throat> but now, uh, to the matters ahead, as I always say, we have been pointed here lane's house uh use hatch in cellars to enter the sewers this is the entrance to the sewers um from there we are able to begin our quest of finding sandalor once and for all finally it's been a while since we've seen him right yeah, this is the house I showed you at the beginning. I told you we could not go in here. Uh, oh, and we still can't because it's not there, it's here. <laughs> well, my bad. So, that's the thing. We're going to go into one of those underground places to kill a bunch of stuff. That's why I bring this thing so I can have a, at least a few good spots to rest and replenish without doing a lot of runbacks. So welcome in. Let's see this. Cooking recipe. More cooking recipe. What? Nothing in there. Then we have another hatch that is locked. Superb. Ah, we have the key. That's true. <laughs> Very well. So, make a save. This is the underground area that we have to go through. Uh, the, yeah, this is not skeletons. This is lizard. Lizard people of uh, just like Gomo. But they are not as civilized as Gomo. I am attacking these guys with my lockpick. <laughs> can, can I stop doing the lockpick? Right. So, this is what I'm going to be doing uh, a lot now. So, as I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of cuts. Uh, where's my shield? Oh, I cannot equip that one. True. And I will uh, let you in once I find anything important to the story. So, why so many of these things, first of all? Well, I'm gonna put one here. Uh, 
here. Uh... Shit, how do you do that? Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna put one of these here, and I brought enough to do three of this. And I believe it's something like that, something like three levels. So that way, at least I can have a one each uh, rest resting. Yeah, because I do not have a teleporter stone, and I don't really know. Um, what else I could do with that? Something is breaking here. Oh yeah, my shield broke. Uh, let's see if I can still do this. Wait, where is the... Ah, this. Can it be fixed after bre broken? Doesn't seem that way. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, but yeah, I'll be cleaning this up, and I'll see you whenever something happens. Very well, lads. Uh, I have cleaned this, uh, at least I believe I have. As you can see, there is like a, a, a big portion of it that does not connect. Well, I did not find anything to connect it, so I imagine that's it. Boom, boom, boom. Here... In here so uh, well this place was easy uh, the thing is just larger than it looks like it's it's pretty long but it's it's just easy I mean we are it seems like in an all right level like all the mobs in here I kill uh, on one or two hits so now um, a few things uh, sewers crossroad that is just the middle of everything uh, there is nothing there or at least that's what I saw. Uh, sewer pipe. This one, it's an entrance up north, and it takes you to a larger level with a lot of, a lot more lizards that throw like fire magic. That are, it's like it, it destabilizes you, and it's pretty rough. Uh, I reckon we're not gonna do that because that's just more level to clean. Not not really related to to the story. Now, we got this in this point here. This is where you begin the level, just so you know. And we got this here. It's just a room that you, uh, at some point, you will enter that it just has a lot of potions. You can see, I just picked all of that. It's here. And then we have two points of interest. There is the sewer entrance to Stormfist Castle treasure room. And... The sewer entry to Stormfist Castle prison. Uh, well, there is the prison and there is the treasure room. Um, sorry for the cut. So I was showing you, uh, yeah, the entrance to the treasure room, and then there is the end, uh, the sewer's entry to Stormfist Castle prison. So, I reckon we are going to have a look at this one first. It's all the way up north. So yeah, this place is not difficult at all. Uh, well, at least for the level that we are managing right now. We have been under level throughout most of it. Um, just because of the, of the nature of this series, of course. More story driven, more almost linear. But uh, that's just how it goes. Um, this is... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show the story. I'm not going to be... Uh, killing every little mob. At least not on video. That is. Very well. We're here. This is... Uh, to prison. Let me get a quick save just in case. A 
guest. Oh. Come in, intruder. I believe our meeting will be a pleasant one, but only for me. Holy you shit. Won't survive it. Executioner. Right. So I'm gonna pause here. So the executioner uh as far as I remember it's pretty tough. Let's have a look. Yeah. Right, so what what uh, like good advice? He hits really hard and hits pretty tough. Uh well this only applies if you're a mage, but maybe this could help. That gives you a bit of time. Right, and once he's frozen, just do the lining on him. There you go, bastard. He's pretty tough, huh? Okay, let's see what else we got around here. Just a bunch of knives. Uh, there's a few rooms here. Uh, but nothing of concern, it seems. Uh, that is just like the door under the... Ah, no, we cannot enter there. Oh, right, yeah. If you don't have a, a resting place, here you will find one. Uh, I believe it's here. This one allows you to rest. Uh, but yeah, in these cellars, there is nothing really of concern, as far as I'm aware. Uh, maybe you can find a chest or two. But I am not entirely sure. Yeah. Oh. You're not attacking me. The chest have nothing. Okay, what do you have to say? A fine knight. Well, one of your guys just tried to kill me. Can the castle guards be of any assistance to you? Uh, good day, guard. It's all well. General Alex. Ah, oh, yeah, he's with them. Nice. Was up here talking to Duke Janos about the war on the orcs. From all the shouting, I guess uh, they don't see eye to eye on matters of strategy. Frankly, I wish I were under the general's direct command. Not that Brad, uh, not that Brad Janos. She's a military genius, and he's just a randy little pipsqueak. Ah, so he's also not very fond of the Divine the One. Well, we cannot unlock this. Uh, but yeah, seems like this is it. Well, unless you are a good thief, you'll probably see what's over there. We sadly cannot. Very well then. Uh, oh, it's a broken wall. That is. So that being done, I guess we just. The only other thing we have to do is the treasure room. I would have expected Sandalor to be in the prison, but I guess uh, the path to take is towards the treasure room. Very well. And I seriously need to uh, just go to the merchants and some or something like that and get me some good gear and armor fit for my mage more than anything. Right. Oh. The trap worked, master. That's a Excellent. dark knight. Quickly lock the door. Sandalor. Zendalar and the Marked Ones are trapped inside. 
Victory Wait. is ours. Wait, it's pronounced Sandalor? Fucking hell. Wait, I am trapped as well. Shit. Oh, there he is. We're in trouble, Marked One. A strong enchantment. And that's the other Marked One. And blocks my magic. It's pointless to try to cast spells in here. Then we have to fall back. Perhaps we can reach the sewers in time. <laughs> Too late. You can't escape. Kill the Marked One. Gods, it's a death knight. Look out! More orcs are coming. Quickly, orcs. that way. There is no escape. We have to make a stand. No, you fool! Your life is too precious to risk. I'll fight while you run. Now, go! Fucking hell. I'm no coward, Zandalor. And I don't run from the fool. Come on, you bastards, fight! No, don't be a fool! A fool, maybe, but I'm no coward. Come on, let's see the color of your blood, you swine! A man after me own black heart. Right, marked one. We will be the death of you. Ah oh, shit. So one of the marked one is dead. We'll just wait here. That actually you don't mind. makes me There's no way out. have one question and in particular. Comes, she'll take good care of you, oldster. Gods are trapped. Fucking hell, Sandra is trapped. Where the hell am I? I cannot move the map. Oh my god, lads. Holy fucking shit, look at that. That is uh, one of the first underground places that we visit under Aleroth. This is the second lower place, and here it's the prison, the Ionian dungeon. That's where we are. Isn't that cool? That's the orc camp. That's pretty sick. I'm not able to use that. Well, I guess we we gotta find a way in, uh, a way out now. Ooh, what's that fire? Divine Amulet. Holy shit. Holy fuck, we just became rich. But anyway, hold on. Divine Amulet. Uh, right? Well, I'm the Divine One, aren't I? Holy fuck, lads, look at that. Just a lot of stuff to pick up. We're gonna sell all of this and we're gonna make a... Well, get the divine one. I'm gonna buy a house in Verdistis. Or get the faith... Uh, the fate of the world. Holy. That's a lot of stuff. the piles of gold right well if this is my prison thank god I loaded I loaded like one second <laughs> before that I cannot go here I imagine then Right, so I have to sort of guess where and where not to step. Well, I I don't like that dance one bit. If I drink the shadow. Does that make me invisible, or uh, can I also be untangible? I cannot use it here. Ah. Ah. Interesting. 
When I don't have any more healings, I wanna save. Holy shit. I cannot cast any spell here. Right. What? Right. Drinking this anyway. As expected, the spell appears to be wearing off. Yeah. At least they le left me alone. A lot of potions here. Uh, save again. Right, so this is gonna be uh, kind of tricky. Okay, they're coming for me. Time to find another way then. Uh, nothing around there. I have been there. Right, so I imagine... Why can't I... I'm not gonna... I'm never gonna kill them. By melee... Melee attacks. The traps don't affect him. Don't affect them. That's a bit... A little bit of cheating, isn't it? <laughs> this fucking dance. Very well then. We'll see. We'll see what we do. This is definitely not the place I should be. Well, yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though. The... The fact that magic cannot be used here. So by the way, I ran through the... I, I don't think I, I said that. I ran through the traps, the whole traps with the fire and whatnot. And I encounter this magic door. But we don't know the word. We need a magic word. It would seem. But yeah, I did that and now the traps are not... Uh, well, I ran out of potions, that's the thing as well. And I cannot use my restoration. That's gonna be tricky. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can do something. Let's see. Mm. Aha! Fabian? You're a genius. But uh, still, I cannot fight. Like... 14 strength? I'm not gonna do nothing melee. Anyway. The right thing to do is to... Uh, is to go and find Sandalore. That's the thing. And I quite frankly... Haven't a clue. I'm gonna put this here.
Ouch. Wait, can I go through there? I can't use that. Well, I quite frankly don't see any other passage. Let me see. I also cannot see the map as I could before. That's that's odd. Uh, there is, it certainly has to be some sort of, uh, liver or something like that. This is the room with the potions. That path is incomplete, so maybe I can go over there. That's where all the orcs are, though. And then... Nothing else, really. Okay, then. Let's see. Uh, I cannot go through either, right? Yeah. Just gonna keep saving because my HP. Right. Oh, this is another room with potions. Shadow. Uh, I wanna, I'm gonna save. I wanna use one of them. Just gonna try and run. Gonna try to hold last the fuck hole over As here. Expected, oh, the spell appears to be wearing off. There's Sandalor. Thank you for saving me, Mark Swan. Well, we are not out of here yet, Sandalor. Um. You know, I've never met someone who could escape twice the clutches of the Black Ring. You're quite a, uh, quite a prize. How did you know where I was? Uh, a, talk, a talking cat told me. Yeah, Arhu. A talking cat. You must mean Arhu. It was a good thing I let him in my uh, in on my plans. Otherwise, I would have never gotten out of here. Uh, what happened to your companion? Well, he's dead, right? When I tried to rescue the third marked one from his imprisonment, a death knight. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, that's what they called the death knights. Attacked me and killed him without mercy. Is that what you're doing here? I came here with uh, one of the other marked ones to see if there's uh, if the sword of lies is still in its place. But we failed. My companions was brutally slaughtered, and I was driven in, into this room. The sword of lies. You speak in riddles, old man. Have you ever heard about the age of chaos, uh, or authoring the weapon master? No. Very well. It seems I shall have to start at, at the beginning. <laughs> uh, he's just like me for real. Please tell me all you know. Wolfram was both a brilliant wizard and versed in the arts of swordplay. He was a true battle mage by will and by nature. What happened to him? He became a member of the dam and forged the Sword of Lies under the direction of the cursed Lord of Chaos. That evil deity put a small seed of his life force, his soul, if gods have such things, into the sword. That made it uh, one of the most dread weapons to ever uh, trouble our poor world. What happened next? Ultron became the wielder of the sorcerer's blade, and the Lord of Chaos himself uh, led the dam and the horde of well summoned demons against the seven races, large parts of River Town, and even the famous mage school, uh, Rey Alor, were destroyed. The slaughter of the innocent people was a horror to see. Tell me about the Sword of Lies. Ulthrin was both a brilliant wizard. Okay, you told me that. Uh, 
How did the seven races stop the Lord of Chaos? When the war reached its climax, uh, the surviving armies of the League of the Seven met uh, the Lord of Chaos in open battle upon the field. They used all their power, strategic, magical, and base trickery to banish the Black Deity from Rivalon. They simply banished such a mighty foe. They succeeded, but the victory cost the Council of Seven everything they could give. They sacrificed their lives in order to banish the stinking deity. Uh, so, he became a member of the dam. Okay, we already heard that. My powers are useless in this place, I'm afraid. I can't help you. Yeah, none of us can do, can, can do magic here. Uh, no, we cannot leave. We must first finish what I came here for. We must see if the Sword of Lies is still in its place. Uh, you can find it on the other side of the cellar, but a magical door is guarding it. You will have to state a magical word before it will allow you in there. The magical word is Avas Enrod. Be careful not to angry the door since it has been charmed with most powerful magic. Uh, yeah, Avas Enrod, I got it. And it's probably in my diary as well. Uh, it is not. But it matters not. I got this. Let me look around though. Sorry, I can't use that. My mage cannot I read books. What a useless mage. I'm not able to use that. Guys, you can never trust all oh, shit. Uh, shadow. You can never trust the Magus. That's what I was gonna say. I am a Magus, <laughs> but yeah. Right. Right, that one works, but the other traps uh, don't work. That's that's good. As expected, the spell appears to be wearing off. Halt! Speak the magic word. Is it uh, uh, No, the magic word is Avas Enrod. The magic words is spoken truly. Entry to the treasure room is granted. And it burps on my face. Ah, look at that. <laughs> that looks brilliant. Oh. Just like that. Oh, no, not this. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine, dudes. Nice. Ah, oh, this appears to be the castle's central treasure chamber. Damn, it's empty. I can't see the Sword of Lies anywhere. Oh, well, I better go and tell Zandalore that the bloody thing is gone. The sword is gone. Toy dragon. We get a... Fucking Fortnite toy instead. Hmm. What is this toy doing here? Yeah, I don't know. Right, so there is nothing else in here, right? Uh yeah, no, let's go. <laughs> I don't wanna step in any more traps. At least I left that thing there. Uh, right, so Sandra is over here. I imagine I have to use another shadow. I only got one to make it past the trolls. As expected, the spell appears to be wearing off. Yeah, that's all it lasts. Do you find the Sword of Lies yet? 
I found the room where the Sword of Lies is supposed to be located, but I couldn't find the Demon Sword. It has been taken. I knew it. The Sword of Lies has to be at the heart of this matter. I wonder how John Janos came into such power. I guess correctly. He has taken the Sword of Lies, but could never find certain proof. Now at last, I begin to understand the depths of our perilous situation. Uh, I have also found a toy next to where the Sword of Lies used to be. A toy? It is all quite becoming clear to me now. I believe Janos somehow managed to enter the treasure room. He picked up the Sword, uh, the Sword of Lies, and was of course too weak to withstand the demon's power. I fear there is nothing we can do to save Janos. So Janos is in possession of the Sword of Lies. You seem quite upset. Is there a threat to the seven races? To the whole world, I imagine. Yes, oh yes. In the Sword of Lies slumber a small fragment of the Lord of Chaos. He has taken possession of Janos. I fear there is nothing we can do to save him. The Duke we see now is no longer the true Janos. Um, the boy always was a, a weak-willed, spoiled brat. But his current cunning and cruelty are that of the Lord of Chaos. You mean Janos is the Lord of Chaos? No, that is impossible. The Lord of Chaos has been banned for good. It is, uh, it is sure that Janos and the Black Ring have no good intentions. It is all so alarming. Things are getting out of control. There is still hope that we can change the current situation. The second marked one is waiting for us at the Dwarven Bread Inn. What if the Black Ring knows of, the, uh, of his whereabouts? Let us try to get to the Dwarven Bread Inn immediately. Yeah, the Sir Patrick Stewart looking guy. It's uh, it's over there. I came ready for certain eventualities. I carry a potion with me which will hopefully grant me the power to teleport us to safety. I hope it works. Or we might never get out of there. Uh, of here. Very well then. I have teleported us to the Dwarven Bread Inn. This is where the other marked one is waiting for us. Very well then, let us go find him. Excuse me, kind sir. Yes, Sonny? There he is. Help me, sir. That depends on what you want, boy. Well, spit it out, lad. Don't be afraid. I, I, I think some bad guys are planning to kill some guy just outside. What? Show me the way, son. I'll soon take care of this. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This way. Come this way. What the hell? This is shady. Just wait here, sir. Wait, what's going on here? Oh no. Oh, I'll tell you. A dragon rider. On, human. You're about to die. Damn, you tricked me, you little devil. Money is money, sucker. Better that you die than my parents starve. Oh, enough of this. <laughs> Assassins, kill him. No, you're not gonna die against those, right? Oh, that's what oh, I thought. Typical. <laughs> this new generation of assassins are about as deadly as milkmaids. <laughs> oh well, I suppose I'd have to kill you. iPad myself. assassins. Oh no. I brought this guy to you. Now I want my money, Bat Breath. Oh yes, indeed. You certainly earned it, Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm Sonny. Thoughts. I think I'll just keep the cash and kill you instead. Yeah, kill the fucking kid. What? No. Please don't hurt me, kind sir. <laughs> money is money, sucker. Yeah. Oh no. Quick. We must see if we can save the other marked one. Run. Revive him. Alas, it is too late. Oh no. Shit. Wait, this is a question that I was wondering when the other Mark one died down in the prison. What happens to the fragments of the divine? Because she's split in three. 
but now only I am alive. It is too late, there is nothing I can do for him anymore. I fail once again to protect the marked one. Now I feel the hand of doom stretch over all of us. But this means I am the only marked one that remains. I am afraid so, my friend. It also means you are now our only hope. This has gone on too long. We must take action immediately. I shall teleport to a safer location where we can perform uh, the ritual so you can become the divine one. Holy shit. Very well. No time to waste. Let us go. Behold the meeting hall of the League of the Seven. Well, the League of Seven. Founded by uh, the great Archmage Shen Ferrell. Very impressive. But the Council of Seven what? Look, old man, you promised me explanations. What's happened to me? Why are people trying to kill me? And why have I been marked like this? First things first. This is the meeting hall of the Council of Seven Races. Orcs, Imps, Elves, Lizards, Dwarves, Humans, and all good wizards. Why just those races? Aren't Hawkmen, Trolls, or Halflings worthy of, of a voice on your council? And since when have wizards been a race? Ah uh, yeah, that's true. I thought any intelligent being could become a wizard. I see that there is a lot of history that I must teach you. If things are to become plain, Mark's one, the original Council of Seven was formed from the most powerful intelligent races in Revelon. So he's saying the halflings are not intelligent. That offends me a little bit. Um, wizards were included as a gesture of courtesy. It is always best to be polite to us mages. And besides, the Council of Six Races and Assorted Magic magic users was too much of a mouthful ah okay very well then uh, the league of seven was originally formed over half a millennium ago to fight the lord of chaos the god of evil if you like things put simply the lord of chaos was the first god born from primal chaos before the good gods uh, descended from the sun he was always, uh, has always sought to destroy the living world made by the later gods, perhaps from jealousy, or perhaps because he simply wants to be left alone again. I have heard of the Lord of Chaos whisper in, of in tales at midnight, but surely the good gods banish him to hell. Twice has uh, Lord Chaos been exiled from the land of the living, once by the gods themselves in time out of mind, the second time by a group of powerful and dedicated mortals, the very council of seven races that we are here to resurrect. I believe that only such an assembly can encounter the machinations of the mysterious Black Ring. Wait, when you said their name, I felt something, something malignant, stirring in yonder dark passages. I sense that we are in terrible danger. You are right, my old senses must be getting dulled, not to immediately feel the presence of a demon nearby. Our enemies have set a trap for uh, any such as we, who come to this ancient place to revive the council. Prepare yourself, Mark 1. Physically ma uh, manifest demons can be killed like any mortal creature, but they will fear some powers. If weapons and magic can bite upon a fiend from hell, then we'll send this demon back to where he came from. Onward, my friends. Holy shit! Don't even think about resisting me, old man. <laughs> Cannot. No, me neither. Resist. Me neither, Sandalor. <laughs> and you, marked one. Perhaps we'll have some fun together. Hmm? But first, you have to catch me. <laughs> Well, I did not know it was that kind of game. I am not complaining. Uh, it's a trap. Can you break the spell that's holding you? No, damn it. I can't break it uh, loose. I'm trapped like a rabbit in a, sm in a snare. The more I try to shatter my bones, the tighter they grip me. What was that creature? Yeah, I definitely want to know. <laughs> The succubus, holy shit. It's a female demon who attacks her victims with illusions and charms. 
She will try to get near to you because her kiss is lethal to mortals. Can you still cast magic? Certainly not against my prison, nor can I use any powerful spells aimed beyond its bounds. When the succubus attacked, uh, I cast a ball of lightning at her, but the spell was negated by the cage. But perhaps I can still perform a short range spell. Let me try a healing spell on you. Just ban all of it. Right. So at least it got healed. Sandalor is trapped. And I was just uh, seduced. Uh, oh, well, not successfully, I swear, by a succubus. And this is where we're going to leave it today. It's a long hell episode. I hope you enjoy it. I hope we... Uh, we managed to start unraveling more of the storyline since we found Sandalor. We will see uh, how this entails. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.